Hello, my name is Vajra Dhaka. I live in London. Uh, I've been a practicing Buddhist for more than 40 years and I lived at Vajraloka Meditation Retreat Center for 21 years. So I've always been involved in my own personal meditation practice and helping others to understand how to practice uh, in a way that suits them and helps them the most. I just wanted to introduce myself uh, before coming over to Brazil for a trip later in the year. Uh, one of the approaches that I think is very useful to the, the path of meditation is that you always work from where you are. And part of that approach is that you need to keep coming into the direct experience of where you are. I think one of the temptations is that meditation can lead you to higher states of mind. So there's a temptation to jump over your experience, to try and get somewhere else, to try and get to these higher states of mind that in uh, Buddhism are called dhyana. And the best way of getting into higher states of meditation is working from where you are and working with and transforming what is here in your experience. So the very basis of good practice is to keep coming into a direct and vivid awareness of the vitality and life of your experience and to find out what is limiting what is impeding, what is getting in the way of this being here in experience very directly and working with all those uh, tendencies to go away or to make commentary or to try and jump ahead and to let go of them so that you're constantly working with what is here so your qualities can develop and grow over time. So on the basis of this approach we can develop all the qualities that lead to enlightenment. We can develop our compassion and our kindness and our clarity of mind and our insight and even you could say our spiritual momentum or spiritual power can grow and deepen by actually being present and alive and engaged with the qualities which are here, we're in touch with the seeds of our Buddhahood and we can germinate them, we can nourish them and they can grow into life and we can come into the qualities which are so beautifully exemplified in the life and expression and teaching of the Buddha.